Price won the women's 100 meter dash in a new championship record time of 10.67 seconds, displaying a completely dominant win en route to yet another Jamaican sweep. This performance was historic for various different reasons. It was her fifth world championship title in the 100. She broke the previous record time of Marion Jones, which had stood since 1999. She led the Jamaican trio to the first ever consecutive sweep from last year's Olympics. And she now has the title as the most enduring successful female track and field athlete of all time, as her first global title stretches all the way back to 2008, when Fraser Price was just 21 years of age. For many people around the world, this victory places Price as the single greatest female sprinter of all time, outranking any other athlete that came before her. But in what can only be described as one of the most sensational developments of her entire career, she returned to the track in the 200 meters and did something quite extraordinary. For this 200 meter race, Fraser Price was set to run against Favor O'Feely and Abby Steiner, the two collegiate superstars who both broke the NCAA record this season. Now, for much of 2022, these two were actually the world leaders, holding season's bests of 21.96 and 21.77 for Steiner. Comparing these times to Fraser Price's previous season's best of 22.14 seconds gives you a pretty powerful picture of just how much distance these two collegiate athletes had on Fraser Price. However, as this 200 meter race began to unfold, it became apparent that Fraser Price was ready to fly as she dropped the second fastest time of her entire career in this race, dominating everyone with a time of 21.82, beating both Abby Steiner and Favor O'Feely by more than three tenths of a second. This is just wild. Now, Fraser Price is not known as a 200 meter specialist. In fact, this is only the third time that she has ever broken the 22 second barrier. And speaking of barriers, this performance was actually much more significant than many people even realized, as this 21.82 broke the previous Masters World Record that was previously set by Merlene Adi all the way back in 1995, when she achieved a time of 21.93. This is absolutely amazing. At 35 years of age, Fraser Price officially qualifies into the Masters World Record category. And if you'd like to take a closer look at this all-time list, I'll leave a link down below in the description. Now, this 21.82 performance was only behind the incredible semifinal time of Sharika Jackson, who achieved a mark of 21.67. But there's also something interesting to take note of here, and that's that Jackson's performance was achieved with a wind of two meters per second, which which is the maximum allowable limit for legal performances, while Fraser Price ran her time with a slight headwind of negative 0.1 meters per second. If we correct these times to wind-adjusted performances, then Sharika Jackson's time equates to a 22.08, while Fraser Price's time equates to a 21.80. Now, this wind-adjusted reading is not perfect, but it does give us an idea at the estimated times that these athletes would have run under no wind conditions. And even though both athletes were clearly not running all out, Fraser Price's effort was actually measured slightly quicker than Jackson's when adjusted for wind once again. Even though these wind-adjusted times do showcase Fraser Price slightly up front, Jackson simply has to be the favorite moving into the final. She's run a 21.55 this season, she cemented herself as the third fastest ever in this event, and for this 21.67, she was practically jogging, so she obviously has the capability of running much faster. 